again. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Did I not turn that on?
video of my uh, this little normal build. So uh, it was a fairly quick one. Um, you guys just saw this uh, axe in a flea market find video, and uh, I went ahead and restored it today. Turned out pretty sweet. Uh, nice little Norlin and uh, I thought I'd end this video by talking about a couple things I did in this video um, that I don't normally do on my builds um, so one of the biggest things is, is I didn't strip this handle I left the, the factory varnish on it and the reason being is <clears throat> um, this is a link handle link handle does um, like a light burn on their on their wood sometimes darker sometimes it, it burns real dark but this one had a light burn and then they varnish them and although I don't agree with this and it's not my preferred method of finishing an axe handle Norlands when they came new would look exactly like this it would have a light burn on the handle with a varnish finish so I thought it'd be kind of neat if I finished this axe off with a handle that looks somewhat factory um, can't remember what the length's supposed to be. And this one started off at 28 inches, We're down to 27 inches. Which brings me to a, another point. Uh, I left this a little higher on the shoulder than I normally would. I'd probably bring, bring the head down just a little bit farther. But due to the fact that you lose so much length with these Hudson Bay heads when you hang them, I thought it'd be okay to leave this one a little high on the, the shoulder um, but I think the handle looks overall I think it looks authentic and it, it looks good um, and if I decide to sell this or if I were to keep it and decide down the future that I didn't like the varnish uh, it's easy to strip off and then just put some bullet lens off um, when I hung this head a couple things I did differently because this is a Hudson Bay and the problem with a Hudson Bay axe head is how much eye how tall the eye is it's not a lot of wood holding this uh, head on in proportion of the weight of the head and the length of the handle so a lot of Hudson Bay heads will wiggle loose due to that fact so a couple things I do to combat that for a Hudson Bay head style head um, one is you saw I, I did glue the wedge and I also put wood glue around the outside of the handle and I let it seep down into the head before I set the wedge. What that does is it gives it just a little bit of assurance, a insur little bit of insurance um, to, to keep the head in place. This doesn't hurt the axe in any way. Um, if you had to rehang it, it's not going to be that much more difficult to remove this handle than if I hadn't of um, glued it. And if you're thinking, well, you probably won't be able to save the handle, you're probably right. You're probably not going to be able to save the handle at that point. But um, I mean, link handles are ten bucks, so <laughs> go buy another handle and start over if if that problem occurs. But it shouldn't. You should never need to rehang this until it breaks. Uh, also, I did, I did leave, I do leave on Hudson Bay's. I do leave it proud. That lets this bulge out over the head, helps give it a little bit more retention. And I do use a metal wedge. Unfortunately, this metal wedge did crack my uh, my handle, but that's not a big deal. It just it's an appearance thing. And then lastly, I want to talk about um, this had a lot of damage to the pole, so I did have to. Um, clean it up and it's always a, a, a balance between getting the mushroom off and preserving the logo so I'm, I'm always trying to preserve the logo I, the, the mushroom doesn't bother me as much as you know not having that logo there so I take it as close as I can get it um, I squared off the rear of the pole I, I did a dirty polish on it it's more like a satin polish and then I beveled the bottom edge like it's supposed to be and the top edge and it cleaned up nice. It, it looks really good. And then I try to blend that into the to patina of the head as much as possible. There's not a lot of patina left on this. This is pretty bare. But uh, just try to do a nice blend. And then I just finished it off with a, a razor sharp edge. It's actually sharper than I was uh, trying for. Um, just wanted to put a, 
a usable edge on that and brought it to a nice polish but that's it turned out sweet it's a really nice norland uh tomahawk they call this the tomahawk version it's the larger of the two hudson bays which is weird because the smaller one's called a voyager you would think the small one be called the tomahawk and the bigger one be the voyager it's the opposite way anyways thanks for checking me out guys i uh, hope to see you in the next video